All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Um, I uh, went north again, and I found myself a massive body of water. Uh, I think it's supposed to be pretty crystal clear. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I do know it's supposed to be overcast, guys. You guys can see it, low hanging fog right now. The trees look awesome right now. I don't know if you can see those right there. But uh, gonna try and target some walleye real quick this morning. I'm gonna, I think I got here a little bit late. I was trying to get here at sunrise, but uh, I think with the overcast, it might help. But yeah, I'm gonna go run around on some deep structure real quick. Um, probably some shallow channels and stuff like that that are out here and try and jig up some walleye. And then uh, I have a few other ideas today. You guys will just have to stay tuned. So I rigged everything up last night real quick for what I planned on doing today. So I already got number five rip and wrap on, number four, uh, that's a glow perch uh, slab wrap. So moving groove today, I'm gonna see if I can stick some fig fish for you guys. Plus I kinda wanna play with some soon. So we'll see how it goes. I got lucky here, dropped on a fish. That's somebody's interest. Time to come back for a second here. Okay, so so far I marked fish in this hole and that hole, which both happen to be 25 feet deep. Uh, the next hole is 28, so it goes down off. So I'm gonna guess this is a little flat. I'm gonna drill some holes around my sled here um, and I'm gonna put some tip ups up and I'm gonna keep pole hopping. They are chasing the slab wrap, whatever they are, but they're not committing to it. So I'm hoping with a set line they'll get enough time to stare at it and it's a live bait and they'll eat it. So let's get that done. Okay, I got the two eye fish pro sitting over here in this flat. Uh, hopefully, the big fish that was here that was moving around in this area sticks around and eats one of those. I have a medium shiner on that one and an extra large fathead on that one. So, kind of a little bit of variety. And I'm going to switch this up and put some meat and a spoon on here and see if that makes a difference when I'm hopping around. Wish me luck. I watched this flag pop. Looked like I had a bite. Let's see if he's taking mine. Still on there. 
Okay, so I got a tingler spoon and a minnow head on here now. Let's see if that brings anything in. I went with a smaller one just in case there's perch around. Flag popped again before I could get the bait down there. Can't tell if anything's running right now. Oh, there's a fish on there. <laughs> actually felt that guy hit he must have hit it and it hit the bottom and then I picked it up off the bottom that's a tip for you guys oh my god that thing is massive Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's like a four and a half pound swimmer. <laughs> what the heck is Joey God? Oh. He ate the fad. I gotta weigh this thing. Jeez. Look at that tank. Okay, let's get a weight on this thing and get it back. Look at this thing. This friggin' pig. My scale's dead, of course, but I would say easily four pounds. Uh, it's only like 20 inches, maybe 18. This is awesome. I did not expect this. Oh, let's get a release on this big beast. What just happened? <laughs> That's probably my biggest smallmouth this year. Oh, unfortunately, I couldn't weigh it. This, my uh, my digital scales completely dead. Apparently, I need to replace the batteries, or the cold killed it. Um, I don't know how to fix that. Any of you guys know a better scale for cold or uh, whatever? I you know to get a weight on something like that. Um, I just wanted to weigh because she was a butterball. I gotta come back here in the summer or open water and fish this place. Uh, this is a really, really big lake in the Northwoods, um, and I was not expecting that. I'm trying to get a couple walleye and maybe some perch, but I am on a rock structure, so smallmouth do exist around here. I'm betting that's what was chasing my uh, rip and wrap around or my slab wrap, but uh, I still have the spoon tied on that you can crush that. But I'm gonna get that iFish Pro over there set and. Uh, yeah, I, I'll take a bunch of those guys. That's awesome. The colors on that thing are amazing. These Northwoods fish are just beautiful. So, all right, I'm all jacked up. Let's get some more. Just about to eat some food. Oop, there's fish on there. It got it. Literally was just about to eat something. That always happens. <sighs> Not getting a bite? Go try to eat some food. <laughs> Whatever it was is still down there. Am I ever going to get to eat?
literally just put the food next to me on my snowmobile here and a fish shows up <laughs> see if they're just cruising through I'm on like a saddle so there's a hump and a hump and this is a 25 foot middle so there's like a 15 foot hump on either side of me so a fish could be swimming through here all day we'll find out there's a fish on there I was actually just packing up. I don't know if you even saw the hooks up there because the GoPro was off. Oh geez, I think we got a bigger one. Oh my god. That's my biggest smallmouth ever. <laughs> you guys gotta comment below how big you think that is. You think that's five pounds? Oh my god, I'm getting some photos of this girl. Oh. I was right about to leave too. God, that's huge. All right, let's get this big girl back. She's a monster. Oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna measure her real quick here. 19 and a half inches. Comment below, how much do you think this pig weighs? Uh, conservatively, like this is up against my body guys <laughs> if you know me I'm a pretty big dude but I'm gonna say four and a half five pounds I don't think I've ever caught a smallmouth this big I'm looking forward to trying to beat it let's get her back Now that my hands are completely numb, I, I was literally just about to pack that thing up. I was walking, uh, I was over by my stuff, packing stuff up, and it's about to turn around and go pack her up, and she popped. That thing was huge. I don't know if I should move or leave or stay or... My cousin's coming out, but he's going to stay on the other side of the lake right now. Um, we were talking about fishing for some pike, possibly. I don't know if I should change or not. Comment below, guys. You guys, you guys got to comment below. Uh, I, I I don't want to blow my cousin off, but you know, that was that was probably the biggest smallmouth I've ever gonna catch. Well, I can't say ever gonna catch. I got some big options, but uh, <sighs> all right. Well, I had to think over that for a couple minutes, and basically. I have this spot marked. I'm gonna be around for two more days. I might just have to come back here. Uh, I don't know, do you guys wanna see more smallmouth through the ice? Cause this is freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, I have a bunch of other ideas. I have two other giant bodies of water. This whole, uh, the, these three videos, this one, the next one, and the next one after that are all gonna be on giant bodies of water. Um, I'm finally able to rip around and get on some fish as you guys can see. And uh, I really want to try a couple other things that I haven't been able to do uh, since I've been walking basically everywhere for the last forever, how many years. So I'm gonna try to take advantage of that, but comment below what you guys would do right now. Um, I want to go fish with my cousin a little bit. It's not often I get to see him and I, you know, you guys might've seen him in a couple videos now, but I don't live by him. So it's one of those things where, 
you know, take it when you can get it. And I'm going to get out and fish with them a little bit more. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll stick some giants. Uh, I think I'll make another video uh, if it's good. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was nutty. I was not expecting what I got. Uh, if that's any indication for the fish that are in this lake, I'm looking forward to catching some more. So like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to? Email.